Good morning, students. My name is Jessica Stavenberg, Williams Instructional Technology Coach, and this is Your Brain on Google. Today, I wanted to show you how to use Your Brain on Google to get into your student class classes and to turn in an assignment the correct way. So I'm going to click on this practice class. So my name is Jessica Stavenberg. My student practice class is right here. This is me as a teacher. And it says Jessica Stavenberg posted an assignment. Now my student is going to log into this classroom. Going here. And this student only has one classroom at the moment. You might have more than one depending on your age and your grade level. I'm going to open my student class. And you'll notice that in at the teacher view, I have stream classwork people and grades. But as a student, I only have stream, classwork, and people. So I'm going to click on my classwork to see what is due. It says that this is due on Friday. So I'm going to click on this work. It says, make a copy of the Google Docs respect when online. Add your answers underneath each question and turn it in. The reason you need to make a copy is because teachers, when they give you a article that they want you to read or questions that they want you to answer, give you a view only copy. If they give you an editable copy, that would mean that you're changing their copy as well. And then they couldn't use it with their other classes or use it again next year or something like that. So what you're going to do is make a copy of it. So I'm going to view this assignment and it made a copy of it right there. I had to remake my video because I coughed. It says right here that it's making a copy. And it has where it says that it made a copy. Let's look and see if it did. I'm really trying not to cough again. <laughs> okay, if you are getting it straight from the teacher and you haven't copied it yet, do you see how it's not letting me click anywhere? It needs, it only lets you click and do any kind of edit if you have made a copy of it first. So what you're gonna do, as soon as you open the assignment your teacher has added there, your Google Doc, you're going to go to File, make a copy and then I can change the name of it. I did make a copy of it earlier but then I coughed. This is my no coughing version. As soon as you make a copy of the document, you now can edit it. It takes a little bit while it's doing that and it's making a copy for you so that you can edit it. And you can see it's still working up here because I have the little blue wheel that's working. So I'm just going to go back to, while it's doing that, I'm going to go back to the instructions. It says make a copy. I did that. Add your answers underneath each question. Notice it did not say to delete the questions. Add your answers. So I'm not deleting the questions. I'm just putting my answers in, and then I'm going to turn it in right over here. And I'll show you that. It says turn in. So remember, this is the one that wasn't editable, and I'm going to turn it in. This is my no cough copy, and I can say true or false. So I can 
tell why, why I think it is true or why I think it is false and give my reasons there. I'm not giving the answers here to you. You have to figure that one out on your own. This one is a multiple choice. Here's another true and false that I can add the answer there. And here's name two possible. So I know I'm going to need to have two possible. Oops. When I get all of my answers in there, I'm going to make sure that this one is turned in. So I notice that this one's not because the title is not correct. So I'm getting rid of that one and I'm going to add the one that I want. As soon as I create a Google Doc and I made a copy, it put it in my Google Drive so I know that's where it's going to live. Recent shows me right here, or I can go straight to my drive right here and look at it there as well. I want to make sure that I'm in the right account. This is the respect when online, the no cough version that I added. Notice that I'm not going up here and sharing the document. I'm not sharing it with my teacher. I'm adding it to my turn it in box. This is due on Friday. I'm making sure I'm showing you that the assignment is there. You can add a private comment to your teacher if you want. I'm going to add that right there and it shows that it's adding it right there and I'm going to turn it in. Now I want to show you what happens when you use the share instead of turning into your classroom. Not only are your assignments not going to show up in the grades for your teacher to give you a score, but sharing is for specific purposes. So I want to show you that. So here's the same document that I was working on as a student. So I'm going to double click on that. You saw that I turned it into my teacher. Sometimes I want to share with my partner and give them rights too. So when I click share, it says you must have ask the owner to invite it. So I have to make a copy first before I can share it. So if it's not mine, if my teacher shared it with me, the first step is that I have to make a copy.
as soon as I make it a copy, it's now mine. Now I can turn it in, I can edit it, and I can share. Since it's the copy of, I'm going to share it right here. It says I can share with others. Do I want my partner to be able to edit along with me? That's called collaboration. Do I want them to comment on it? In this case, I could say, you know, I'm not sure about my answers. What do you think? You can give them commenting rights to share this with a peer. Or you can give them view only rights where they can look at it, but they can't comment and they can't edit. So perhaps in this case, I'm trying to work on this with a partner. So I'm not, I'm creating a group project or something like that. I want to give them editing rights. I would enter their name here. When you give somebody editing rights, <clears throat> what you're trying to do is work on an assignment together. So that's what the purpose of this for. So you're not turning it in this way. You're not sharing it with your teacher this way. You're only using the share button for those kinds of purposes. So either let's work on this together or I could change it to comment. And that's a what do you think? And they can give you a comment telling about suggestions for improvement, something like that. Or, such as your teacher would do, is only view rights. And in that case, it's read this. Okay? And then once you share it that way, you're giving a specific purpose of how you are viewing it, and then you would click send. I hope this clears it up for you, my friends. Remember, you're not sharing with your teachers. You are turning it into the classroom. Sharing is for specific purposes. You don't want all of your assignments just thrown into somebody's drive because it gets too confusing. Can you imagine your teacher has enough to do? They don't need 10,000 copies of different people's papers and trying to sort it out in their Google Drive. You want to make sure that you're turning it in so that you can get a grade on your assignments. Have a great day.